Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm gonna make this composition in Photoshop and of course using Midjourney to create this model. First step, let's jump into Midjourney. So basically this was the prompt, a standing fashion model posing in a black puffer jacket and Adidas pants photo shoot AR2 column 3. Now in order to create this result, you're gonna need to activate Midjourney 5. What you need to do is slash settings enter enter and here you have mid journey 5 you just click on it and it's active you create the image and you go back to photoshop i'm gonna drag and drop the image into photoshop and i'm gonna select it i'm gonna go with the object selection tool right here click on and select the model we'll wait until it loads now it's selected i'm gonna go to select and mask see if everything is correct in here i'm gonna correct some of the areas of course selecting the first quick selection tool and with and with a quick selection tool you can paste back some of the elements i gotta go like this i'm gonna click ok let's go down here on the corner and click on the mask i'm gonna repaint the background in black make sure to select the black to be on the top press alt plus backspace and it's gonna be black we're gonna select the type tool, click, type in whatever you want, press Ctrl T, press and hold alt, scale it up, position it in the center, double click release. I'm gonna drag it above the model like this. I'm gonna double click on the Panther logo and I'm gonna decrease the fill opacity to zero. Let's activate the stroke and I'm gonna position this to outside and increase the thickness. I'm gonna go with 10, click OK. And we're gonna right click on, click on rasterize layer style. I'm gonna double click on the text. I'm gonna activate the color overlay and I'm gonna make it uh, cyan, click OK. I'm gonna go to the inner glow, activate it. You need to have the settings like this. The blend mode is on normal, opacity is, is on 100. Make sure that you choose the white color. Choker, it should be somewhere around here. The size should be reduced and the contour should be this one. I can also decrease or increase the size. You can see that white line in the center is gonna be thicker or thinner. Now, in order to achieve this, you need to put it into the center instead of the edge. If you put it on the edge, it's gonna vice versa like that. We're gonna need it to the center like this. Now we're gonna to go to the outer glow, activate, Make sure that the blend mode is on linear dodge add. Opacity is somewhere around 70%. You can increase or decrease however you like it. I'm gonna go with 70-ish. Make sure to choose it to the color you like. I'm gonna go with cyan. Spread zero size. I did it with 30-ish on 1080p artboard. I'm also gonna activate the drop shadow, which is gonna basically add even more glow because I customized it to become glowy. All you need to do is the blend mode to be is on a linear dodge add again cyan color opacity 60 and you can increase or decrease the size however you like by the way you can see the original glow it looks like this so i'm going to increase the size let's check it out when it's increasing you can increase it above or below but i'm going to increase it just a little so it's going to be a nice transition in the glow mainly this is it click ok now we're going to mask the panther text click on the mask right here i'm going to need to cut out some of the parts of the text but i need to highlight the model all you need to do is press and hold control and go on the model's mask so this is the mask as you can see you got a hand with a little rectangle there and click on it so it's going to highlight the model which is cut out and now i'm going to go here to the texts mask i'm going to click on the mask here and i'm going to select the brush make sure that you're on the black color and i'm going to erase some of the parts so i'm going to go like this and as you can see it's going to start deleting some of the elements and i'm going to leave the letter t alone and i'm going to delete the letter n Press Ctrl D to deselect. And I also gonna click on the model and I'm gonna go to the adjustment layers and select the photo filter. I'm gonna make it cyan to make the model colors a little bit bluish because the neon glows reflection basically gonna need to reflect also on the model. So it will not need to be like this warm, but uh, more, co more colder. So this was it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>